Welcome back, everybody, at Chevrolet 2013 SEMA. On my left, good friend, Eric Stanzek, Program Director, Global Accessories. And you are responsible for so much. I mean, you, you have broad shoulders, my friend. You've got a <laughs> lot on your plate. Uh, you are literally, you are responsible for the entire global look at Chevrolet's accessory program and what goes into it and what, engineer, what engineering and work goes into this, testing, you also got a kind of a cool job for one of the reasons. You get to break stuff until you make it better. That's right. I mean, that's got to be a cool part, but let's first talk about how important the accessories are to the Chevrolet Performance family and just the Chevrolet family at all. Oh, it's, they're extremely important. We want to use accessories inside the company to enhance the Chevrolet brand, to enhance the vehicles that people pay good money for, and um, we certainly want to make sure that we're providing quality products for, uh, for the buyers who basically want to make their vehicles look better, personalize them, perform better, or uh, give them more capability. Well, you think about that, it's the essence of this entire show. You think about the original guys who started SEMA show, and it's one of the questions that always gets asked. What is hot rodding? What is it to hot rod a car? And you are directly responsible for letting people do that at a Chevrolet dealership or out of the performance catalog because you get to, and this is my answer, not everyone's answer, but my answer is to take something that I have, my car, my truck, my SUV, and make it my own by customizing it to my taste and, and what I want to see in it, whether it's a crate motor with more horsepower, fender flares, floor mats, whatever it might be, headlight bezels. This is one of the things that you, I mean, again, your shoulders are growing broader as we sit here because you have the responsibility of giving people that opportunity, and I don't think people realize that's, that's what this is all about. This is what SEMA is all about. Well, the one thing that we try to differentiate ourselves in, in the accessory engineering team is we want to give, that people, give people that capability to do that. We want to give it to them at an OEM quality, and that's what really separates us from a lot of products people can buy to put on their Silverados or Camaros or Corvettes or Sonics. They get an OEM grade part from General Motors. Um, Chevy accessories are genuine. We, uh, as you mentioned, we design them, we engineer them, we test and validate them, and then we back them with a warranty. And that's what I'm very proud of, is people buy our products, and they know they can count on the quality that they deserve when they buy from a, a Chevy uh, showroom. Sure, let's talk about the, the research that goes into some of these things. We were talking earlier about, you know, I, I wondered, these are questions I want to ask. I mean, personally, I want to know this because I want to know, when you pick up a, a plastic, at a grade level or an aluminum at whatever, you know, uh, thickness, density, whatever it is that you're looking at. How are those choices made? I mean, what kind of research goes into this stuff? Well, we have over 100 years of engineering history in our company, obviously, and with that, we've built up a tremendous knowledge base about material, uh, integration, uh, the selection of, of engineering solutions that we have, and we've built up what we call uh, effectively best practices, and all of our engineers use those best practices as a guideline when they're considering a part or a solution and, uh, and, and that's how they basically pull the knowledge of 100 plus years of engineering into what they do on a daily basis. But we don't stop there. We constantly challenge ourselves. Just because it's identified as a best practice, material application, whatnot, we're constantly asking ourselves, can we do better? And that's how that allows us as an engineering team, as a design team, and as a complete uh, organization to stay on the cutting edge rather than just following the trends. Let's talk about the part I really want to know. And if I hey, we have jobs open in this department, please will you hire me? <laughs> It's got to be fun to break stuff because the only way you make stuff better is you break it, you figure out where it failed, and then you make it better. Once in a while, I know that this suit is beautiful, but once in a while, you put on the work clothes and got to get a, a chance to go and break some stuff oh, yeah, with guys, yeah. make it better. Well, I'll tell you, it's interesting. Um, we, we hear a lot of terms like testing, and, and I like to tell people we actually validate when we break stuff. What that means is we do our testing in typically in math models, meaning on the computer. We run iterations uh, digitally so that we can minimize how much hardware we actually have to test. And then we do put it on test. We're just basically validating our design. We've technically, theoretically created the part in math. We've tested it with a lot of math models and a lot of long data collection over time. And then we do break something that gives us a tremendous amount of knowledge about what we need to make that part better or what we need to make our process better. So yeah, sometimes we do break stuff and they're, they're catastrophic at times, but that only gives us another chance to make things better for the customer. Well, it, just is it just seems like that would be some of the fun stuff. Let's talk about what you got on tap for 2014, because I know you got some great stuff around the corner. Let's yeah. talk about the future for your department. Well, as you know, we're in the middle of our, our largest uh, launch in the company with the all-new uh, uh, full-size trucks. 
Um, all the pickups are out now, and we started off with a great line of accessories. Um, we're focused heavily now on our next set of launches. Obviously, we've got our SUVs coming up in Q1 next year. We're going to have a great portfolio of products. The team's working really hard to get all of them to market right when the truck launches so the customers can uh, personalize uh, those vehicles when they're ready to buy, as well as our HDs coming up. So we've got a great lineup, not only in the portfolio today, but next year we're going to have another big year. You know, you and I have had some great banter back in the rooms. This talking as regular guys, do you have a duplicate? Because you just told me that you have about 10 guys' jobs. You realize that? Well, I, I don't know about that. I've got <laughs> a fantastic team. Um, I have great partners, uh, Shonda Pizar, myself, Mark Dickens, and, uh, and Mark Drennan. We, we try to run this business like a, like a business, but with our sole focus of what do we need to do to please the customer, to give them what they want and make them happy. And that's, that's our purpose in the company. Do it with the quality that we're, we're charged to do and, and uh, making sure that we're reinforcing our brands and our products. Well, I know you're just working hard. I know you love your job. I, I can do. see it in I your do. smile. I do. I love it. it I got cool. the best job in the company. I really do. I think right now at SEMA, I got the best job <laughs> in the company, but that's okay. We can argue about that later. More coming up right here. Chevrolet 2013 SEMA. We'll be back in a couple minutes.